Oh boy, Mama says he's back. It's about to go down. If you have not already, go ahead and like, share, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell below. Anytime we have something, you will be among the first to know. This episode is called Revelations. Uh, this one's interesting in that, for the most part, Franklin and V sort of take a side story. They're kind of on the background for the majority of this. They're still players in this, but they're more so discussing their future. What we get in this mostly is Sissy. Mama's back in full force. And we open this episode with her coming back home for the first time. It's seen that her home's occupied. Um, she starts having flashbacks of the first time that she moved in, having flashbacks with Alton. And we're, it's still very unclear at the very beginning of this if she knows what happens to Alton or what, what's going on. But she seems to be playing like, I'm just happy to be back home. She doesn't seem to have an ulterior motive. But we come to find out in this episode, she's got an ulterior motive. She makes her way back home and sort of just start getting the land the land of her home. Uh, while that's happening, crash. Uh, is happening on the gangs of LA. Like I said on previous episodes of this, the world is starting to close in around them because of the Lynn Bias stuff and all of that stuff, the drug, they're coming in hard. So LA has created this gang task force called Crash, um, which I didn't know until I really looked it up, but it's Communities Against Street Hitlums. Um, and that's gang task force specifically spent for that. And they have a raid on Leon in the, in the, in the projects. And sick, they sick dogs on them, it gets grimy. But the lead person who's responsible for that is the cop that Louis believes is on the payroll, who has sort of been paid to protect. It's sort of um, tit for tat, him showing where, who has the ranking or who's the real power player between the two of them. Sort of, a, it's definitely a power move. He winks at, at Jerome, who happens to be at the project at the time, because he's sort of chasing down this kid who's been making this music that's sort of actually telling stories that are it's snitching. It's, it's snitching. Oh, it's some great beats, but it's snitching. Jerome seems to be impressed with the kid, but uh, it is definitely some snitching that is going on there. And that's how he happens to be there. But there's definitely a power play that is being in, in place. And Louie has to check her, 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 her contact or connect with the police. So they have sort of a meeting together. The family all comes together. Uh, v, Franklin, Jerome, Louis, and Leon all sort of get together to have a conversation about the bus that sort of took place at, uh, in the projects. And Leon's not taking this well. He is pissed. He's ready to grab every gun that he possibly can and fight back. He's he's on his Malcolm X uh, type of, they, they come after us, we don't come after them with rocket launchers and everything we prepared. He's where just ready to start full on gang warfare. We're warfare. The friend was like, hold on. You want to go to war to police? Let's go, let's get a little bit easy on that. Let's not quite do that. He's not trying to hear that. That conversation sort of gets squashed because Sissy walks in on the conversation and sees them all having having that talk. And they all sort of celebrate that she's back. No one knew she was coming back. No one was aware. She just sort of got back there. Um, which should have been the first flag that if no one is aware of her, nobody sent for her. When he called for her to come, that should not have been enough. Like, she has to find a way to get there. Or someone has to sort of make it okay for her to get there. Because the way that she left uh, wasn't on the, was through the CIA and so someone else has to be either over them or whatnot to get her back in. And we learn that's sort of the case. In this conversation with all the family members sort of talking, uh, it is let known that V is pregnant to Jerome and, and, and Louis. Leon's already aware. Jerome's happy. He's a of, oh, my nephew gonna be a daddy. Uh, Louis is, is, is happy too. She's sort of surprised. Uh, but she still has her qualms with Franklin and the way that Teddy, basically, uh, everyone thinks that Teddy has taken Alton off the board, and she's like, we we're still in bed with this person. But Franklin's like, yo, get your man. Get your, your police officer you, you thought you had in the back pocket. Louis goes to have a conversation with him. He ain't really hearing it. He blows her off, and it's like, yeah, he, we, I, I. next time I tell you to do something, you do it. Like, it's not, you don't tell me what to do, and it's, you know, they're going to end up wiping this dude off the board. Like, he's going to get 
taken off the board. And it's going to probably cause a problem because we start killing police officers. That wall is going to crush down even even more. Franklin wants to throw a party, like a sort of dinner with with the family, the, the, the main heads of the family, to sort of have a conversation. But before that, Franklin meets with Teddy uh, just to kind of be like, hey, crash is coming down on us. They, they are tightening up ranks. Can you do anything? You need to close this up, get them off our back. And he's like, what the hell do you expect me to do? I mean, he's like, you did it before. You got LA off the cops off of our back before. He's like, but that was before your damn daddy started talking. So it's already that thing where Franklin's like, hmm, once again, you keep bringing out my dad's name. Hold on, sir. Um, but there's nothing he can really do in this moment. And in that, probably becomes the most poignant moment of this entire season so far. And it, he's not wrong. Teddy's like, look, they're not going to come. They don't have you by name. They're not coming down on you. Insulate yourself. Tighten up your family. Get, get the people you really care about. But who cares about the few, the few riffraff that they, they, they collect that they get? It's not affecting you or the bottom line. And plus, they're not coming after you. You're not effing up or destroying white people's neighborhoods. Which is why I think that Valley Death is going to come back in. Somebody's going to start complaining like, hey, this stuff is starting to get into our kids. But he's like, you're not affecting white people neighborhood. So nobody's going to really care if you keep killing black people. Which is sort of always been the, the problem, the layers of this. It's like, yeah, he's making a name for himself. And getting money, but he's doing it on, at the expense of bringing down other black people. Which is sort of what Leon has an epiphany at, the, at this point. He is starting to be like, hey, well, what are we doing for others? Like, you sit on your base, and he basically says ivory tower. He doesn't, but that's what he's, he's alluding to. He's like, you sit on your ivory tower, Franklin, and well, we're not doing nothing for the people. Like, we got to protect these people. Like, these are my people, and I can't see them going out there and getting destroyed. So Franklin invites Leon to the... To the dinner that he's having for for sissy and and he doesn't he's like no give your mom the best like she was there for me when a lot of other people weren't but i can't do that i got to be here to, to handle this Franklin sort of takes that away but it is what it is they have the dinner uh and it's going well until you can just see that louis and Franklin keep giving each other the evil eye the whole time and like that it's like they're kicking each other on this table like you don't say something you don't say something no you say something so they keep doing um, and Sissy's not an idiot. She's aware. She sees it. She's like, hey, what's going on? Frank, uh, uh, Louis is like, you better tell her. You, you can keep her in the dark. That's when Franklin tells her that, you know, Teddy is, Teddy is back. Um, and she is, uh, upset. More so upset that Franklin just wasn't honest. Just be open. And she has a, I love it. It's, it's just such a subtle way of reading the line or saying the line. But she's like, I just want you to keep me in, up to breast of, of the business. And V is like, yo, the business might be up on up, up. You know everything. We're an open book. She's like, no, 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 no. I got you on that one. I'm not talking about that business. He knows what business I'm talking about. Um, and that was her saying, I think V was aware that Sissy knew about everything else and all that's going on. And it's sort of the first time that V sort of has gotten the the lay of the land on who Teddy is. For some like Franklin's told her who Teddy is, but that has not gone into great detail about how Teddy is the person that everyone believes to be responsible for removing um, his dad. And she's like, you gotta keep me in the loop. You gotta let me know. Sissy then goes to stop by and sees Leon. I feel like it's a for twofold. She genuinely cares about Leon. So she did go to see him and just kind of see what he was doing. Like she saw, she saw the guns that Abby um, had provided him. Which Abby had already kind of been like, hey, you don't want to bring on this war. And he's like, man, don't worry about it. I got money, you got guns, let's make this happen. And Abby's like, are you sure? Because if you do this, it's going to start, it's going to open up a can of worms for you. And you may stand up and kick somebody and, kick, and kill one police officer. And Leon's like, yeah, if I kill one, then I've done something else. He's like, yeah, but if you kill one, you know the shit storm that's going to come for everybody else that's in your community. You're not really helping them out. He didn't want to hear from him. He seems to be listening a little bit more to Sissy um, in a bit, but I still feel like he got so he's already got the dog, the teeth, and the bone that he's keep going. But Sissy's there to kind of check to make sure that, like, hey, are you good? But also, we learn that she's got sort of a deal in place that I think if cops start dying, that deal might get kind of mucked up. So she wants Leon to be on the up and up and be like, hey, you calm down. Because I've got something else going on that I'm going to need you to ease up on so you don't have all this stuff. 
as we learned in the next scene, something that I said last episode, Teddy is going to get taken off the board. Um, now it just seems to be a little bit on, too on the nose because people are actively going after him, so it may not happen, but I think that is the, the impetus of this. Because what we learned is that Sissy is back there because she has a uh, backer, t- uh, a group of people that are prepared to take Teddy off the board. Um, and she is there fully aware that Teddy would have been back. And now that Teddy is back, she's ready to kind of put this emotion to take, get him off the board because she is responsible for killing her husband. And she's fully, fully ready to, to, to wipe him off the board. And now it's getting interesting. You got players, you got m- more players on the board. Um, and it's starting to muck up those waters a little bit. Peaches still out there looking sick. Someone brought it up. I didn't catch it until he sort of put it in front of me. So well done. But Peaches looks like he's still sick. He's probably at this point in time, the height of needles and, and HIV. He probably does have HIV. And that's what sort of people have, are pushing towards. Um, I do think that the Jerome being between Franklin and Louis something's going to happen to what the family is so tight knit that one of those family members is going to go is, is going to be gone i think the one that would hit story wise the most is, is louis because it would affect jerome and how he would feel towards franklin and and sissy um and it would also affect franklin because this uh louis was the first person that sort of backed him up and all of this so i think with her one-to-one with the cricket cop I don't think that's going to end well for her. And I think he may be the one that eventually ends up taking her out. And it sort of messes up the whole thing uh, for everybody. That family sort of falls apart from the inside. Because it's already started. The foundation started already there. Leon is off the races and doing his own thing already. And I think trying to keep him in line while Sissy runs this plan of trying to take Teddy off the board is going to be uh, going to be where those two, the, those two immovable objects go head to head. Um, and it's it's gonna come to a pretty pretty exciting and nasty end. There's just a hint of it, and I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna probably come. It seems like Jerome is trying to get find a legit business of his own and uh, take on the music industry. And like I'll be a producer. I think the one thing that sort of hit me the most in this episode was Jerome and Louis. When Jerome asked Louis, like, "Hey, yo, can you come to the family dinner with me?" And Louis's like, "No, I'm gonna sit here. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't wanna deal with nothing." Ain't got nothing to do with Franklin. I just want to watch these white people do some crazy, stupid shit so I can just get my mind right. And Jerome's just like, hey, you can't do this for me. And it's it's a, it's probably one of the most heartfelt moments that he's had. But you think about all he's done for her, that it only, he's just asking you to come to dinner for a minute. And you can't do that. Um, and then even there, you can't hold it together enough that we can just have a dinner without the mess coming out uh but the mess is what this show is about we are starting to see that that family unit i think the issue with the family unit and why they are still tight-knit but because they are at different levels in this family that's when the deception and the untrust and you're not listening to me you're not listening to my ideas that all sort of comes together and that's why this this is such damn good television um revolution it's a really good episode um, more so, not not so much progressing the story, because I already had seen that, that the plan was going to be to try to remove Teddy. I thought it was going to come more from Franklin. Didn't see Sissy kind of coming into the board. But now that you bring um, a former player back on the board, another chess piece, if you will, uh, I think we're off to the races for the rest of the season. I think the show, episode one of this season and this episode have sort of done a good job of telling you where all the players are. And then you move on and you kind of get a powerful last episode with Scully. This episode tells, catches you up with Sissy. I think from now on, for at least the next two episodes, we're going to get a lot of story progression. And it's going to get it's going to get hot and heavy. What did you guys think about the latest episode of Snowfall called Revelations? Go ahead and leave your thoughts and comments in the comments below. If you haven't already, you can follow us on Twitter at Hollywood ADI. You can hit us up on email at HollywoodAlreadyDidIt at gmail.com. We also have a podcast with the same name that's on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere that plays podcasts. We're there. And like always, I got my ticket. You got yours.